because my grandfather was a Dutch citizen, and by Dutch law, you were born to was born into a, a Dutch, to a Dutch mm -hmm. family that has Dutch dual citizenship. The United States doesn't believe in dual citizenship, but don't ask, don't tell. But as far as the Netherlands is concerned, she is Dutch. Yeah. It is the same thing. But no, it's not from what he's saying. No, what it, is. Saying. it is the same thing. You have, to, you have to know the law and use the law to your advantage. You're an American, you have an American passport. You want to do business in Haiti, you think there's, uh, there's uh, barriers. So you learn about the application laws in Haiti and have a smart lawyer help you out to gain your goals. I agree with you. What, I, what has been missed is the following. You've got an individual who clearly came from a Haitian background, but I understand a poor circumstance, worked his butt off to end up in the U.S., and has become a proponent for reforming Haiti's uh, economy. Who better to potentially end up in a political office than somebody who has learned how to take advantage of the systems that exist that can improve the circumstances for all Haitians, but because of Haitian law, cannot end up in a political office to fix what's going on. That's the law that has to be changed, because there are other Johnson Napoleons. Maybe not him, but there are other Johnson Napoleons who have been successful by getting passion to fix the... Here's, here's the problem, Jordan. There is a populist view of the law, and there's a business view of the law, and there's a law. Well, what is the law? Okay, the law has changed. Okay. Right now, a diaspora, a Haitian in a diaspora, with an American passport, a French passport, a Chilean passport, or any passport, you can do almost everything in Haiti except run for uh, being senator, a president, or deputy. And that's my point. Okay, now, the problem is, that conversation has not been spoken out there because we are so into the political views of things. Like, um, we keep saying diaspora Baladon, but the law has changed. The problem is the diaspora has not done what it's needed or has not hired the proper professional help to identify what needs to be done. Like, for example, like Douglas was saying about the, the loophole. Law says you have to be in Haiti for five years. Now, the, you have to have residency in Haiti for five years. Now, what is and residence in Haiti means does it mean you have to actually physically live in Haiti or you have to have an address in Haiti so let's take another example then yeah my understanding of Israeli law if you are Jewish you are automatically welcome to come back to Israel as an Israeli citizen yes so why can't the Haitians take on the same philosophy as the Israelis and say Yes, you're Haitian. That's a fight. Yes, you ended up getting a French passport. Yes. But you are committed to Haiti. You are investing in Haiti. You are doing positive work for Haiti. You are still Haitian. You should be able to take the knowledge you've gained from the outside countries which have been successful economically, come back, run for office, and fix the problems that exist here. You are, by your actions, clearly Haitians. Let's take the Israeli... Uh, Israeli example and be like Israelis. I think I think the problem is the Haitian politicians are afraid. Um, afraid of people who have been successful. Thank you. Yeah. They, they won't look good. But yeah. But but again, but again, the other issue is we need to look at it is what what the conversation started to be was that there are things that us even with an American passport you can do in Haiti, but yet we're still complaining about because we don't know the law. Okay. Even, even, sorry, even an American like you that have business interests in Haiti, after a certain years, you want to grow your business, you need to buy more land, then get a Haitian passport. A lot of that American, I understand. Yeah. That I understand. And nobody knows, not, not really a lot of people talk about that. I'm talking about what so I So is it what, that the digital guy take, gets yeah. a Haitian passport? Yeah. Yeah. Does that help you in taxes? Like that helps for you with business, that helps you with, you know, if you have a business, you want to, you know, get inheritance to your, your children, you want to um, um, 
own more land in certain area. You can buy land in every department because as an American, you're, you're limited to own a certain amount of land in one department. Okay. But if you get a Haitian passport, you have a lot of it. You're 10 years in Haiti. So an American here, you can have an Haitian yeah. passport and, an, and, you are, and preserve your American passport. Yes, yes. You shared with me no, well, that is recognized. You yeah. shared with me there's no capital coming into the government to fix the roads. There's yeah. no capital coming in to fix the buildings. Yes. If they change this law from this diaspora, take on the Israeli model and promote these individuals to come back with the money. Yeah. You've got a tax basis now that can help fix things. They have a current law system, what you have shared with me, that promotes lack of development because they're turning people away. You, you want to get the people who've been successful, who understand how to take advantage of what's available outside, come back to Haiti, know how to get the coffee into the U.S. supermarkets know how to get yeah, I'm sure. mm -hmm. go ahead know how to get the products of Haiti marketed into all the European areas and invest back into the Haitian economy where there's a tax basis. So there's money for roads, schools, for an adequate police force. So a police force that is not frightened for their own safety. Yeah we agree. We agree like your Jewish model. But what, what the diaspora needs to do is that when they have a child, a child born in the U.S., they need to, to, to sign him in the consulate so he can get his first Haitian passport. They need to comply with the Haitian law and not like, don't think about Haiti. And when you want to do something, you, you protest, never, you, you protest, scream, but have you, paid you your hire a lobby. Have you, have, you, have you taken care of your residency in Haiti? Have you paid your bills? Can you prove you have an address? So you need to have all these, all your files um, I, I, you know, I so you, there needs to be records, and it's not like the Haitians don't want people, but if you don't have any records, how can they, you need to, you need, in every country you respect the law, you respect the records. When a Haitian wants to have a residency in the States, he spends the amount of days in the States to keep his residency. It's the same thing, and Haiti has rules also, and laws also, so that the rules to, to the rules, apply to everybody. So the rules should be adjusted to help promote the yeah. economic development of this country. Yeah, yeah. Change the laws. The, yeah, the, the, uh, every Haitian born to anywhere in the world is a, is recognized to be Haitian. But they'll get, a the citizen, they'll get a passport, and from what I understand, he now can't run or she can't run for well, office. Uh, if he has another passport, so certain, certain uh, uh, posts in the government, certain... Um, second right. Second so right, so political office or some offices? Some political offices are, are not available to somebody that has two passports. But if they can, if it's not proven, our last prime minister has was it did, didn't have a didn't have five years of residency, residency. But he was able to to get the loopholes because he has he has address and he was able to to work out his loopholes. So there needs to be more. More you know what I love about this? On this Thank table, I'm There's recording it, and with your permission, if I want, after you listen it, I can play it. Is that we have an American here, we have a Haitian here, which I guys like me call a bourgeois. Bourgeois. Yeah, a bourgeois I know Haitian. Right. I know what a bourgeois is. And then you have me here, who's uh, 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 a Negamba, and then the, and and with a diaspora, yeah. and with an American passport, discussing. Uh, some kind of dumb law, dumb rules that we have, things that can develop Haiti, but also on the same thing, they're talking about the lack of understanding of Haitian rules and laws yeah, and rules and regulations that prevent us as the diaspora to move forward. No, I, just I people, people don't want to respect the rules. They think Haiti is like a savant. Oui. You just show up. You just show and up and you expect everybody. But there's rules and you need to be legalized, to legalize everything all you have. My premise is simply this. Adjust, get people, get the rules adjusted so that people who have a passion, the, 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 what was the word you used, that you used to describe yourself? What was that word? Jaspora. No, no. Was that the word you used to describe you as a Haitian with an American passport? Yeah, yeah, yeah diaspora. So as a diaspora, the very fact that you, who have clearly shown a passion for fixing Haiti, cannot go into an office and say, listen, I know what the problems are, I'm a successful businessman, I should be in a position, along with individuals like me, to end up in seats of government, to fix these problems, to end up with a tax base to be established by having folks want to invest in Haiti. These laws have to be changed. I agree with you. 
But again, there are certain modifications or amendments made to the Haitian Constitution. Even though it doesn't have, you, you don't have your full right, but we can take advantage of a lot of them. But you can't get into office to change the law. No. That's the problem. You can, yeah. be, you can be a mayor, you can be many things. Yeah, you cannot be president, you, you, cannot, you cannot be senator, you cannot be, president, you cannot be uh, deputy. But you can be everything else in the government. But that is a problem. Yes, we agree. That is a problem because yes. people like you who come here, who spent money to fix this nation, who then knows how to fix the problems, or at least has new ideas, yes. but is excluded yeah. from no, ending you up can, in you a... Can, you, 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 can be, you, you can be in the council, you don't have to be in the actual position. If but myself, actual, myself, what I was talking to with, uh, with, with, council, with Douglas today was simple. I think the same way French government, in order for them to do business with Haiti, basically have diplomatic relationship, they have an embassy, the same way uh, American have an embassy, the Benin have an embassy in Haiti, Senegal have an embassy, we should have the embassy of the diaspora. Or call it an office of the diaspora, have a group of people that will defend Haiti's interests. Now the problem in the diaspora, we just don't want to put money together to get that office function. Or okay. probably no one ever come with that idea. Oh, I agree with it. But again, that diaspora office only has as much power yeah. as that it can influence the government of Haiti. Well, oh, that's called lobbying. Yeah, we will do, yeah, if you have that, that office you, that paying money, then we yeah, will do then lobbying. Then you see a well-organized diaspora office group that does oh. lobbying, and, okay. you know, the right way, not in a corrupted way, the right way. And also in the U.S., you can't be president if you're not born in the U.S. And Barack Obama had that problem. There was suspicion that he wasn't born in the U.S. So it's the same type of limit. Okay. You know, I got to go. All right.